Building trust is more important than making the sale. This is a hard lesson I've had to learn over years. I started my business in 2009, so about 11 years now. And in the first few years, I was learning from those internet marketers, the growth hackers, the experts who are teaching me how to make money fast. Maybe you are following some of those people too, how to make money fast, how to use sales funnels to convert people to your products as soon as possible. Well, you know what? The thing is, it does work. It does make money fast if you do it. If you do those complicated launches and those using those pressure tactics, it does make money faster than the heart-based way. So I have to give it I have I have to admit to that. However, I also experienced my business crashing after a few years and having to start over because I didn't really have an audience after a few years of doing that. Sure, I made some money, but I was also anxious. I was uh, kind of depressed. I was basically needing to chase and uh, sales again and again and again. I couldn't see a path forward where I could have an authentic business for the rest of my life that I actually would love. And guess what? A lot of my peers who started with me at that time, who also were chasing money and the short-term results, they're no longer around. They're not building their business anymore. So let me and my, my, my peers be a, a lesson for all of you who are building your business right now. Don't, hopefully, you won't have to crash and burn and have to start all over. So I started all over in 2015 because I couldn't stand doing it the mainstream traditional way anymore. Sales funnels, scarcity tactics, pressure selling to try to get clients, okay? I had to, it was just so much burning out and it was so much not building real relationships with people. So I started over in 2015. I said, okay, what if I only had a year left to live? How would I want to build my business? I want to build it with love. I want to build it where trust and relationships are far more important than getting another client or making a sale. So that's what I started doing in 2015. Yeah, six, seven years into my business, then I learned how to start over building a real audience. So since 2015, I've been building a real audience through content. I try to show up consistently, speak my truth authentically, and try to be helpful to all of you, sharing some ideas that might inspire you, that might educate you on a way that is going to build a better business for you. And the first year or two, I didn't see a whole lot of results. I was just putting content out there, making videos, writing articles. I even had a podcast all of 2014. I actually really started over in 2014 um, with a podcast, but then 2015 was when I got serious about being consistent. So really in 2014. 2014, 2015, and most of 2016, I didn't see much results in terms of sales, but I was consistent and I was just creating my heart out with my content, okay? Getting a lot of practice doing it too. And then I noticed at the end of 2016, so this is what, one, two, two and a half years into my consistent, authentic content, two and a half years in, I started noticing, oh, wow, now people are starting to come to me without me having to beg for clients, without me having to go, please sign up for my services, you know, and chasing people down, people started coming to me and I, I no longer had to sell. I just simply was saying yes to people. Sure, you can work with me. Oh, yeah, let's talk. Maybe it's a good fit. Maybe not. But let's talk and see if it's right for you. That happened two and a half to three years after getting consistent and authentic with content. So where are you on the journey? Now, I have to, like I said, it's slower. It doesn't make money as fast. But today... Look, to, you're, I'm now 2020, right? This is now four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about seven years into my authentic business, I'm really happy. I, I, I have plenty of clients. 
I don't need any more clients. In fact, I have a waiting list of clients. This is, I have been hiding waiting list for years now, actually, since, uh, like I said, 2017, 2018, waiting list really started to build, which is, like I said, four or five years into my authentic, relevant, con- you know, uh, authentic, consistent content. So it's worth it. That's my message to you. It is absolutely, absolutely worth it. Be patient. Create authentic, consistent content. Show up consistently. Try to build relationships with your audience because, like I said, the relationship and the trust is far more important. And now my business is so much easier than it has been in the past. It gets easier the more of a loyal and larger audience that you have. So I wish that for you as well. Uh, my name is George Cow. For those of you who don't know me, I love talking about building businesses authentically. If you enjoy this, you'll probably like my other videos too. So thanks for watching. Thanks for those of you who are joining me here live. I really appreciate it. And I wish you well. I wish you authentic. And all along the way, one of the benefits I'll say real quick before we go is personal growth and spiritual growth. That is the, the, the biggest prize. You learn persistence. You learn patience, you learn joy, you learn boundaries, you learn self-care, you learn how to bring, um, how to generate creativity instead of waiting for it, right? Uh, You also learn love. You learn love, you learn truth. So I wish that for you. Take care.